Greetings all, Vanna here for Aries' weekly message. There's one card and another one went somewhere. There you are. We have the Nine of Wands and the Five of Wands. Aries, you might be removing yourself from, frankly, a toxic situation. The Nine of Wands can sometimes be a self-isolation or protective energy because we were very much in this fighting pugnacious energy where, pardon, I thought it was going to burp for a moment, where like if someone had just said something wrong in the slightest way, it's going to create this massive fight. And that tendency of like um, anxiety, it becomes very conditioned into who you are and how you present yourself to people. Often holding yourself back, biting your tongue, or trying to... to walk on eggshells and not aggravate a situation because you're afraid of someone's reaction. That is a toxic situation to be in, my love, because that is so exhausting on you to be the only one that's constantly aware of the situation, how they're feeling, and how they're trying to not make it explode. The Nine of Wands here, I very much feel like, is a hermiting protective kind of energy separating yourself like um like an as an introvert or an autistic person when they start to get overstimulated they need to remove themselves from the room to de-stim and come back down to a sense of homeostasis or peace and that might be very difficult to do in certain situations like if you have a really big family and maybe not a big house or you have family that's all around you or you're very popular and that people want to be around you. You need to be able to stand up for yourself and state when something is too much. And your ancestors would celebrate you for sticking up for yourself and speaking up for your in your voice because it may cause a painful uh, hurt initially, but you can't hold your tongue in out of fear of hurting someone's feelings because sometimes things have to be said in a painful way it's like when you're starting to learn how to cook the first few things you make are not going to be good and you're gonna need to be able to take that constructive criticism of oh you needed to have a little more seasoning or this one didn't cook as long it's not them saying that you're terrible or that you messed up that is how you learn but if you have been in this like walking on eggshells anxiety mentality you would take it as a personal slight and offense, but that is not the energy you need to be having, my love. Standing up for yourself, and most importantly, speaking up for yourself, is one way you assert a self-love and confidence into a situation. Because oftentimes, people will take advantage of those who do not have that self-love and self-confidence because they won't have the voice or the strength to stand up and speak up for themselves. There needs to be a shift in how the situation is being examined right now with the hangman in reverse. I really feel like someone is putting you in a situation where you are forced to be a problem solver or um, sort of mediator between everything going on. And people naturally step into this role as parents, as siblings, as the the wise mature one of the family that person has to be that way because they're trying to make sure everyone else is okay when really they are not okay and that is why the nine of cauldrons has come out yes you are at a table that's supposedly full of people that you love but it is a toxic place there is a head on that table and i believe the other person at the end of the at the end is deceased so there really does need to be a point of you standing up and speaking up for yourself because otherwise you will continue down this road of self-sacrificing, serving for other people, believing that is your role, and it will never be enough. I am telling you, as someone who's working through this energy herself, it will never be enough because those people will always demand more. And when those people are gone, they will just be replaced by new people until you make the change and stand up for yourself and say, like, I'm not going to do this all by myself you are going to work with me and be a mutual partner or you are going to get out of my energy you are going to get out of my light and my life i love the druid coming out in this instance 
I really feel like Aries is going to need to have a point where they stick up and stand up for themselves. <clears throat> Especially if there have been like painful situations or um, triggering situations or memories coming to the surface. We are in a releasing and integration phase right now with the Schumann Resonance. Meaning that we are releasing energies that is coming to the surface to be acknowledged and surrendered to the universe so that we can integrate the ones that they are actively trying to give to us. So when these painful memories, traumas, angers, frustrations, or just heavy emotions are coming to the surface and you're not really sure where they're coming from, you have to feel them, acknowledge them, speak about them. Even if it's just to a plushie on your bed, you have to verbalize it and get it out. And if you don't want to do that, writing, journaling is an amazing way to just brain up everything that's going on in here and get it out in a physical medium. Because if it stays in here, it's just going to continue to bounce off the walls of your mind and you won't be able to get anything done because you won't even be able to have a cohesive thought because you're just too stressed and overwhelmed. And I'm saying this as someone who's going through this very similar thing. Write it down, get it out of your head, get it out of your system. Purify yourself from what is trying to be released from the version of you that you are now. What is trying to be released from the version of you that you are now is something that was attached to the old version of you. Someone you once were but are not anymore. Think about it. You're not the same person that you were in ninth grade. You're not even the same person that started ninth grade, let alone ended. You are fundamentally, biologically, and scientifically different. So stop hanging on to these same identities. The Wolf Spirit family card came out in reverse. I honestly feel like this triggering situation could be coming from a family unit. And honestly, the blood family that we are born into can be so toxic, especially because they have that notion that you have to stay with them. The phrase blood is thicker than water is applied to that, but it is completely misused. The full phrase is the blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Meaning the family that you choose, the soul tribe that you resonate, adopt and integrate yourself into is more powerful than the one you were born into because you chose those people and they chose you in return. It's not out of obligation or a sense of societal norm that we are forced into these roles. If someone is toxic and hurting to you, you have every right to speak up for yourself. It does not matter what vessel that soul occupies. Toxic is toxic. And you have to value and love yourself enough to state what you will stand for and what you will not stand for. Because until you do, people will always be treating you like a doormat. Like someone who is going to solve their problems and make everything better instead of them figuring out how to do it for them themselves. You are sacrificing your entire future because other people are trying to make you do their work. Whether that is in the, the workplace or in their own emotions and mental health. It's their job to fix themselves. It's their job to heal themselves. Not yours. And I know your beautiful heart wants to be the one that cares for that. But as one of the biggest things that we have to realize when coming into a spiritual path is that we cannot save everyone. They have to make a decision themselves. That they are worthy and deserving of of the freedom we all can have. They have to make that decision themselves. You can live your life authentically and hope they pick up when they're ready, but you cannot drag them through that door with you because they will become resentful and angry and create a rift between you guys that will take a lot of difficulty to mend. So please, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Focus on yourself and what you need to be happy and the rest of the world will pass by as it's supposed to. Have a beautiful day, my love.